This video is going to introduce suction filtration, which is something you might use after a crystallization. If you have a situation where you've got a solid in a liquid and you want to isolate the solid, then that's where you would use this technique. So let me set up my filtration apparatus. I'll connect a filter flask to a ring stand and then use a thick rubber tubing to connect the side arm to the house vacuum. And we need to put a funnel inside. Um, there are different kinds. That first one was for small scale, but we have a large scale here. So I'm gonna use this one, which is called a Buchner funnel. You use a little rubber adapter to connect the funnel to the flask, and that'll create a good seal. Uh, there are holes in it, so I next need to put a filter paper into the flask. And now I'm ready to start filtering. So I'm gonna turn on the vacuum and then I push down on the funnel to create a good seal. And I'll use some of the water from my ice bath to, to add some water to the filter paper. And the suction should drain that water out. But the point of doing this is that you, uh, you have the filter paper uh, stuck onto the, the funnel quite uh, strongly when you first wet it. And we're now ready to filter. So here is my solid, and I'm gonna pour it into the funnel in portions. The suction is then gonna pull the liquid away from the solid. The solid gets, tra gets trapped above the filter paper. And we do want that solid out of the flask, so swirl it and dump it to get it out. There's gonna be some solid residue that's probably left, and I would give it at least one rinse because I do wanna get as high a yield as possible. And then do another swirl and dump step. There's gonna be some residue that is gonna stay on the flask, and that's okay. Don't try to get every speck out. But here we have our beautiful um, crystals that I've collected. To do a rinse, what you next wanna do is turn off the vacuum and then open it up so that you reintroduce the atmospheric pressure to the system. Then take my rinse solvent, in this case water, and then add some of that to the solid. We're trying to rinse away the mother liquor, which contains the impurities. After that rinse, add back your, um, your rubber hose, turn on the vacuum, push on the funnel to make sure it's a good seal, and then have that drain out the rinse liquid. And keep that draining for at least a minute or so. When the filtration is done, then you can turn off the vacuum, take off the hose, and then collect your solid. So to, to collect it, scrape the solid onto a pre-weighed watch glass. Use a spatula, and you may as well scrape off the entire thing, including the filter paper. It's tough to, to scrape off the solid from the filter paper when it's wet, but if you let it dry overnight, it's gonna scrape off so much easier the next day. So put both the solid and the filter paper onto watch glass, let that dry. And here's our beautiful solid that we've collected through suction filtration.